Hey guys, I'm back with the final episode of the Drift Project. Today we'll just be tying off a few loose ends with the Drift Car. Got some body accessories here. Got a really nice body to show you. So I'll just be adding a few bits to that. Got some HPI wheels here. And I'll be mounting some HPI T-Drift tyres to them. Very easy process, I'll show, show you that in a minute. We've got obviously the battery holder just there. Got to put that in. And the main chassis brace. So we're almost there, we'll start off with the wheels and tyres. Okay for the process of mounting some drift tyres to some wheels you will need obviously the tyres. These are HPI T drifts so I'll just open them now. They're basically a smooth tyre, completely smooth, hard plastic, really easy to drift with. So we need one of them, you'll need a wheel, these are from HPI as well, and you need to get sort of a similar size wheel and tyre so they actually fit together properly. But these are from HPI, these are really nice, gunmetal type wheel, and these are actual reproduction sort of, these are a real set of wheels in one to one scale, uh, I think they're T37 Volk racing wheels, they're really nice. They're all 6mm offset so the tyres sort of come out of the body a little bit and you also need a cup and some just off the boil water, some hot water. So once you've got your hot water just put the drift tyre in and leave it for about maybe 30 seconds something like that just so it gets hot enough to expand but not too hot that it deforms and loses its shape. So just wait for a little bit and have something to get it out with as well because obviously boiling water you don't want to burn yourself so have just a little screwdriver or something to flick it out with. And you want a cloth just to catch the water and you just want to be careful with your fingers because you've got to push it on with your fingers around the edge and obviously hot plastic and hot water it might burn your fingers so you want to be careful. Okay, so that's had about long enough. Get a bit of the water off. Place it over the wheel, get some height on it, and just push around the edge. It clips over, and you've got to pull it over the back quite quickly to clip it into the bead at the back. You might have to, it might take a couple of attempts to do this, but there you go, started to go. Is that it? That's it. Make sure it clips all the way around. that's it, done. No need for glue or anything because it just when it cools down it shrinks and holds onto the wheel. Easy peasy. I'll just show you one more time with the other wheel. It's over, stand up so you can put some force down on it and just clip the first front bead in. Put it on the mat instead. That's that one in and just go over the back and just pull it over. that one's in as well. That was easy. Yeah, that's it. That's another one done. So it's really quick, really simple. Just be careful of your fingers. Just let them cool down first before you do the other one. And yeah, done. So this is what the drift car looks like now. I've had a few spare moments um, over the past few weeks to um, do a, a couple of bits to it. Mounted the, re the receiver there. It's all bound and ready to go and big jumble of wires here, but I tidied that away. Battery's in, and you may notice the front arms. The um, company that I bought the whole suspension kit, suspension kit from um, sent, me sent me a replacement arm, because you may remember it didn't screw together properly, so I couldn't actually use, use it. So I've got some replacement arms, and they're all fine, they're all in. Uh, I've put the wheels and tyres on, got, that's one set there, and the other set on the other side, just there. Looking really nice. Can't focus in. There you go. And we've also got these the different kind of body mounting system. These uh, magnets in here, really strong magnets. And you mount another set to the body, to the inside of the body, and it just clips on from the top and that holds it in, so you don't have to see any ugly body posts coming out of the body. Um, so yeah, we've got to put the chassis brace in and the battery holder, 
and this part of the drift car will be done. There you go, so the main chassis brace is in now. It's a bit more difficult than I anticipated, but it's in. Had a bit of a problem with the steering, um, but it's very, it's quite close to the top of the chassis brace, but it's all okay and it's all free, so I'm not too concerned. So it's just time to put the battery holder in. And I probably would never remove this, I would just keep the battery in and charge it while it's in the car. So I just put this in now. That's two. There you go. That's not going to fall out. So the main, the main bit is done now. It's just the body left. So it's time for the big reveal. The really nice body coming up. Now, as with the um, rally project, I'm going to have two bodies for the drift car. And the first one is this one. This is just going to be the basher body and the one that the GoPro is attached to. It's still really nice but it was super cheap. Um, I stuck loads of sort of stickers on it and made it look half decent. Uh, I've already used this on, on the rally projects and done a bit of practice drifting um, so it's a bit beaten up but that's sort of the basher GoPro body that I've got for it. Da -da -da -da. Yes this is the new drift project body. It's a Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Nismo and it is gorgeous. It's quite expensive and I've had it for absolutely ages and not really had a use for it. Um, but this is it, it's pre-painted, I didn't paint this, it's not this good. Um, but yeah, it is a really, really good body. Got the exhaust there, I'll be changing that in a minute. Um, and I'll be also removing some of the stickers just to make it a bit look a bit more plain and I'll be replacing the front intercooler as well but yeah this is the new Trip project body really really nice so there's just a few bits I want to do to it to make it look even better so this is the body accessory kit I bought from HPI and I only bought it for two reasons really because it's got a big barrel sort of exhaust there and um, an intercooler which is just sitting behind all this so I'll get it out now So I don't need, it comes with like wing mirrors and stuff like that, I don't need them because it's already got some just there, so I don't need them, but I did buy it for more packaging. That nice big chromey intercooler there and big barrel exhaust there, that's what I bought it for because this one I think will look a bit more a bit more drifty than the um, twin one there and I'll have it sort of pointing out at an angle as well so we'll put them on now and take off some of the stickers
So there it is guys, the drift project all finished, apart from a few little bits that I'll do off camera, it's all finished, all done. Can't wait to start drifting this car, these are all the bits that I've either upgraded or replaced, shows how much work has gone into the car. Looking at the views on the videos, this has been by far my most popular video series, so thank you very much for watching and supporting this um, this series, and I hope you'll join me for the first in inaugural running of the um, drift project and I'll see you on the next RC project. Bye!